as we all trust the Lord to come in a mighty way, in a special way. It starts off with the declaration. It's about God moving. So if we must see revival and the revival that will continue, we better cling, 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 so that new life can be new life. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, welcome again to this program. I am Timothy Gidenchi from Chris New Life. Thank you for joining us once more. We are going to pray so that we continue with this teaching in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we thank you for your word. We open our hearts to you today. We ask you for understanding. Oh God Almighty, as we continue to hear the word of God, open our ears, open our souls. Open our hearts for your presence, my Father, in a special way, O God of Israel, in Jesus' mighty name. We resist the, we resist the devil and his kingdom, O God Almighty, demons of destruction of any kind. We resist them by the power of the cross in the name of Jesus. We pray, Father, for your presence to flow even in this word, O God, that you're hearing today. And we thank you because you're moving by your spirit, my Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you and we love you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Hallelujah. You are most welcome again. We continue with our teaching where we left last time. And I have been speaking about the armor of God. Hallelujah. Uh, that uh, we said last time that we are in spiritual warfare, that the Lord has called us into battle. When you became a Christian, you left the kingdom of darkness. Uh, you started off in a new life. Uh, with the Lord Jesus Christ, and you became a uh, you became a believer. It is good, you know, that you entered into warfare with the enemy. And so, last time I spoke about uh, uh, I spoke about uh, about the belt of truth from the book of Ephesians, chapter six. Uh, we are we are we are getting the foundation of this teaching from Ephesians chapter six, from verses uh, uh, ten going to verses seventeen. And so we, we spoke about uh, the belt of truth last time. Hallelujah. Praise be to Jesus. And we said that uh, the truth or the word of God is what will keep you. It is going to be like a belt that is going to hold things together. It is going to be like a belt that you put around your waist that is going to put uh, to help uh, you to help all the other pieces of armor to be in place hallelujah to the name of the lord and uh if we listen to we listen to the words of christ in the book of uh uh in the in the gospels in the gospels the four gospels jesus would would begin his teachings or rather he would use these words many many times saying truly truly i tell you truly truly he was putting a heavy emphasis how much we are supposed to have the truth and not having the distorted information in our hearts, but the truth and truth only of the Bible. Hallelujah. And there's only one truth, namely the little nature and properties of things as they are actually are. Hallelujah. You cannot dispute the truth. If something is true, it is true. If it is not true, it is not true at all. Truth is not what we'd like things to be, nor what we imagine things to be, nor what we try to make them to be. Truth is what is true. Hallelujah. Truth is what things are actually. Hallelujah. Uh, and so the question here, the question we have here, uh, when you are considering the truth, we should ask ourselves, does my mind hold a perfect reflection of things as they are they are actually hallelujah or they are actually are is is what i have in my spirit is it the truth is it the truth that comes from the word of god from the bible hallelujah to the name of the lord do i the things that i believe are they coming from the lord jesus christ amen and so if you go into a certain era 
Or for example, if an engineer, if an engineer makes an error when he's, he's constructing a machine, let's say for example, when an engineer is making a bridge, uh, let's say like a metallic bridge, and uh, I, I, I read somewhere of a, of a bridge engineer who was making a bridge. And so before he could come and fix the metals, the metal bars that were mixing the bridge with, he would paint the, the metal bars both inside and out. And why were they painting the, 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 uh, the metal bars with the paint? So that they can control the metal from, from rusting and also from rotting away. And the bridge is not to be made that is going to rust for 20 years or 30 years. The bridge was made to last for like a hundred years, an entire generation. But this man is conscious that he needs to make a proper foundation. He has to be so true that what he's making is not going to cause a damage tomorrow. It's not going to cause a damage. It's not going to fall apart tomorrow. Hallelujah. The truth that we have within us is what will help us that things will not fall apart. Many people, their lives are falling apart because simply they don't have the belt of truth. Simply they don't know the truth. They don't know the truth. They don't know the way. What they have inside them is totally wrong. It is totally out of place. It is an error. Praise be to Jesus. So an engineer... Uh, who makes an error in, in his calculations, uh, the solution that he's going to arrive at will not work. And the engine can blow up, the bridge can collapse, or even the plane or the, or the, or the ship can crash, it can sink, uh, or whatever it may be. Hallelujah. Truth works, but error does not work. When you have the truth of the word of God, we'll find it is going to work for us. Hallelujah to the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The truth that you know is what you are going to help. It's what is going to help you. We saw that in the Bible, in the book of John, chapter 8, verse 2, uh, where Jesus said uh, that you shall know the truth, and the truth will make you free. And the truth that you're talking about here is the truth of Jesus. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father. You cannot even come to deep revelations of the word of God if you don't know the truth. You must know the truth, the truth about your about your life, even about your heart. Hallelujah. And the revelation brought by Christ is that the word is not working uh, because it's master man himself is in error. Mankind is in error today. And unless the truth of the Lord Jesus Christ comes into us and help us, many things that we see today, they are not true. Hallelujah. Praise be to Jesus. They are against the word of God. The word systems are against the word of God. They are not true, most of them, because the Bible says the prince of this world who is in charge, the devil, he's in charge of the systems of the world. Hallelujah. And so there is no truth in the things of the world. The word of God says that we should, we should, uh, we should not have the, uh, we should not follow the ways of the world. But our minds are supposed to be so transformed so that we may know what is true and acceptable will of God. To me, that is the truth. That is the truth that we need to know. Hallelujah to the name of the Lord. So Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. And the only picture of man is actually, uh, he is talking here about eternity. Hallelujah. And if you read the book of Colossians chapter 1 verse 15, uh, the word of God says, Jesus is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. So we see Jesus he is not only the truth himself, but he's the only foundation that we can have uh, of truth in our lives. Praise be to Jesus. He is the, he, the Son is the radiance of God's glory and the exact represent, representation of his being. But we see the devil has fostered on man's mind picture of himself that is not the truth and therefore uh, can never work. Hallelujah. And love and selfishness cannot work. They are not true solution to the problems of relationships because they do not reflect the actual reality of things. God tells us to love because God himself, the name, one of the names of God is called love. God himself is love. If you want to know God, 
God is called love. Hallelujah. Or love is God. When you love people from your heart, you are loving God. Or you are, you are acting like God. You are becoming like God. In this scripture, Jesus would say, even your enemies, you pray for them. Pray for those who persecute you. Pray for them. Hallelujah. And do not curse them. Pray for them. That truth is very, very important. And it can keep you. It can help you to keep things which are falling apart right now. Because you don't have peace with the people because you don't love them. Hallelujah to the name of the Lord. But if you see the words of Jesus was saying, love even your enemies. Love those who persecute you. Those who do you wrong things. You love them. And pray for them. Praise be to the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So Jesus is exposing the, uh, uh, the kind of uh, mind, the rotten mind that man has of wanting to go and to do it alone. Mm? Man is born with that thing inside them of wanting to go and do it alone. From the days of Adam when Adam sinned, uh, Adam and Eve sinned and they lost their contact with God. The presence of God was gone from them, you know, hallelujah. And so uh, uh, Adam and Eve when they sinned, even we see there down there that even when they got a son called Cain, Cain, instead of following the way, he became a murderer. He murdered his brother because of hatred. Hallelujah. When the sin entered, when sin entered, it started to be carried on into the generations to come. And Cain is killing his brother Abel. Hallelujah. Because of hatred, because of anger. Praise be to Jesus. Anger is like, uh, hatred is like murder. If you hate your brother in your heart, the Bible says that, uh, that you have, you, it is as if you have committed murder. Praise be to the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So we find that when we have the truth of the word of God, Jesus is the only one who is able to help. He's the one who is able to help us. Mm, and so to, to destroy the works of the enemy within our hearts, to remove the thing, the, the falsehood that came when Adam sinned. Hallelujah. Praise be to the name of the Lord. So we are going to allow him to destroy the works of Satan in our lives. How do we do that? Mm? We give him a preeminence. We allow him in our minds and in our souls. Praise be to Jesus. To help us in our habits, in our customs, to change through the truth of the word of God. Hallelujah. The truth that you know from the Bible. Apostle Paul was saying, Timothy, is it first Timothy chapter, chapter 3 verse 16? The word of God from, from the time you're a child, Timothy. That was Apostle Paul saying, you have known the Holy Scriptures and they are able to keep you. They are good for correction. They are good for doctrine. They are good. The word of God is tested. It is good. It can help you. The truth of the Bible, it can help you to keep things in place. Praise be to Jesus. In the book of First Timothy, uh, chapter 6, verses, uh, verses 5, we see here people who are not in the truth, what happens to them? They are useless rugglings of men of corrupt minds and destitute of the truth. People have got, uh, the people have got things that are useless, they have rugglings, and they have corruption of minds, which is destitute of truth. Corruption of mind will mean when your mind is corrupted, uh, if it is not transformed by the truth of the word of God, it is going to be destitute or lack, lacking truth. Hallelujah. Who suppose that godliness is a means of gain? For such withdraw yourself. People who have not the truth or the word of God, don't make your company with them. Hallelujah. No wonder the Bible says we should watch our company. We should watch our company. We should leave the things of the world behind and the ways of the world and the systems of the world and we stick to the truth of the word of God. Apostle Paul is telling Timothy here, for such kind of people who, who have useless rugglings mm, of cor and men of corrupt minds who don't, who don't have the truth or they are destitute of truth, mm, and they suppose that godliness is gain, it's a means of gain, you know, that it is what I get from God. You're using God like, you are, like, you, like, the, like the spare, uh, spare tire of your car. He is telling uh, Timothy here, stay away from such people. Praise be to the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And also...
Hebrews, uh, Hebrews chapter 4 and verses 12. Uh, Hebrews chapter 4, we are still seeing the truth of the word of God here. The book of Hebrews 4 verse 12. The word of God is living and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the division of soul and spirit and of joints and marrow. And it's a designer of the thoughts and the intents of the heart. Hallelujah. The word of God, the truth of the Bible, is able to penetrate the heart of a man, especially if you're willing. If you are a willing child of God, if you are obedient, if you are committed, and you're willing for the truth or the word of God to come inside your heart, you'll find what God is going to do. He's going to release the truths of the Bible, especially when you are reading the word of God, when you're meditating. You don't just read the word, but also you take time and meditate upon the word of God. Amen. Praise be to Jesus. You take time and meditate upon the scriptures, scriptures upon scriptures. You are pondering upon the word of God. That word of God is going to penetrate in your, into your inner man. It's going to help you in the times of problems. It is going to help you. The truth that you know from the Bible is going to keep you even in problems. Hallelujah. The truth that we are considering here is not some sort of abstract theological logic. Jesus did not love, love us and pour out his life or blood for us so that we might learn some religious equations on how to balance things. This is not a religious equation I'm teaching here. Hallelujah. It is not to uh, spiritual pride quickly leads us into weird realms, uh, realms of spiritual algebra, but truth is personal and leads to the uttermost care for people. Hallelujah to the name of the Lord. Praise be to Jesus. Empty theological doctrines cannot help you. You need to pick the practical word of God and put it in your heart. Praise be to Jesus. So I'm not giving you a, an algebra equation like a mathematics algebra equation to help you how to balance things in your life. No, 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 no. That is not what the Lord meant here. Not only did Jesus say, I am the truth, but he also taught that the Holy Spirit would come to, to lead us into all truth. Indeed, Jesus called the Holy Spirit the Spirit of truth. That is found in the book of John. The gospel according to John chapter 16 and verses 13. This is what Jesus was saying. However, when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. Hallelujah to the name of the Lord. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. That is why it is very, very, very important to be a spirit-filled believer, to be baptized in the Holy Ghost, to be able to pray in the Spirit, to pray in tongues, which is an initial evidence of a spirit-filled believer. Hallelujah. Jesus did not say only that he is the truth and the way and the life. He also said the Holy Spirit. Hmm? The service in the book of Romans says that, uh, that the Holy Spirit sheds his love abroad into our hearts. Hallelujah to the name of the Lord. Praise be to Jesus. Therefore, to put, to put on the belt of truth is to allow the Holy Spirit to endure within us. Are you allowing the Holy Spirit the first place in your life? That is the belt of truth you are putting on. If you are rejecting the Holy Spirit, if you are blaspheming the Holy Spirit, if you are blaspheming speaking in other tongues, if you are blaspheming the Holy Spirit and disputing the infilling of the Holy Spirit, you are rejecting the truth and your heart will be destitute of the truth of the Bible. But to put on the belt of truth is to allow the Holy Spirit to endure within us. It is who who makes the Bible come alive for us so that what is written in the Bible can become living as we have read in the book of Hebrews 4.12. The word of God is sharper than any two-edged sword. It can penetrate even to the dividing of soul and spirit, joints and marrow. It judges the thoughts and the actions of the heart. The truth cuts against sin in our lives and in others. 
Hallelujah to the name of the Lord. Cutting away uh, soulish pretensions from spiritual reality and serving the hidden marrow. Hmm? Severing the hidden marrow of selfishness from our joint or relationships. The truth will set you free. Jesus declared, if you hold on to my teaching, this was the words of Jesus. If you hold on to my teaching, and so, wherever we put on the belt of truth, by holding firmly to Christ's teaching in our daily circumstances, we, ex we experience freedom. Hallelujah to the name of the Lord. The spirit of truth cuts out every satanical lie that has been planted in us. Today, if you receive truth in your spirit, man, I am telling you the truth today. It is going to cut away the lies of the devil that has come into your spirit, man. Hallelujah. So on every battlefield, the side that possesses the highest ground that has the best means of observation is in the commanding position. For us to be in a commanding position, we must have the, the right truth in our hearts. Hallelujah. And provided we do not shrink, uh, shrink back from the spirit surgery in our souls, we are placed in that commanding position because nothing in our creation is hidden from God's sight. Everything is uncovered. Those are the words of Jesus. Jesus said nothing will ever remain uncovered. That is the truth of the Bible. Nothing will remain uncovered. Nothing that is hidden will remain uncovered. It shall be unveiled now or tomorrow. Praise be to Jesus. It is good you know that. There's a, there's a verse in the Bible that your sin will find you out. May God help us. Even for those who are doing things secretly hiding, I want you to tell you today, your sin will find you out. Be very careful. Take the truth of the word of God. Assimilate the truth of the word of God. Put your belt in place. Hallelujah. Praise be to Jesus. Because the Bible says your sin will find you out. So we put on the belt of truth when we read account to God the end of each day opening our hearts to him and giving the Holy Spirit the opportunity to search us. Having thus done this, uh, you know, we share our observation with him. Before the end of the day, do an evaluation with the Lord. Can you ask him, Lord, was I true in what I was saying? With what in my communication, in my agendas, in my plans for tomorrow? Involve him, involve the Holy Spirit. Praise be to Jesus. So what is truth now? It is the reality of things as they actually are. Hallelujah. Personally, to put the belt of truth is to abide in Christ and in the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Praise be to Jesus. And when the truth is formed in us by the renewing of our minds through the true doctrine or through the word of God, sound instructions and godly teachings, hallelujah, that is, that is what we call the belt of truth. And also we say that the sharp living word will cut away every sin and ex expose everything that is not right or everything in creation. The truth of God will remain. Even if the world is full of liars and deceivers who are controlled by the forces of darkness, praise be to Jesus, Christians who have the belt of truth on, they are going to defeat the world. Our faith, the word of God says, is what overcometh the world in the book of 1 John. May the Lord bless you. Father, we thank you for your word today. We thank you for speaking to us. We ask you to help us, O oh God, to assimilate the truth of the word of God within our hearts, to help the Holy Spirit and to allow him to search our hearts because he is called the spirit of truth. Help us to allow the Holy Spirit a bigger room in the name of Jesus within our hearts, O oh God, and in our minds. Help us to be totally transformed that we may carry the truth of the Bible in our spirit in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Bless our viewers, O oh God. Visit them in a special way, O oh God of heaven, even in the families, in homes, where there are many things that are out of place. I pray that as my sister, my brother, put on the belt of truth, their lives will never be the same again. We give you praise and glory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. May the Lord bless you.